Hi everybody. I wanted to do something a little different today and do an appreciation video of two of my favorite country piano players and two of my favorite keyboard players period. Spooner Oldham and Bobby Nelson. For those of you that don't know, Spooner Oldham um, was part of the Mo the Muscle Shoals uh, house band for many records called the Swampers, and he played the organ solo on uh, "When a Man Loves a Woman," or he played on "When a Man Loves a Woman," and so many other hits uh, for Muscle Shoals, and when and um when uh um he has also um in the late 70s and early 80s and into the 90s 90s and 2000s he worked with Neil Young in uh I think Spooner's first appearance with Neil was on uh, Comes a Time uh, when he did uh, some of the keyboard chores and um, but um, and then he was an integral part of um, the first uh, International Harvesters band that Neil put together in 84 um, and I just and I just love his his keyboard playing especially on uh, he can really be heard on Neil's live album from the International Harvesters period a treasure and one of my favorite uh, songs that he's featured on I believe is ba is bound for glory. His keyboard work uh, is so tremendous throughout the album, but uh, particularly on that on um, bound for glory and um, and he he has he he had continued to work with Neo sporadically throughout the years. The last time I believe he worked with Neil was in 2005 when Neil was doing the shows for uh, Heart of Gold at the Ryman. Um, now on to, um, and he is one of my, he is one of my idols and I just love his playing to pieces and if you haven't heard him you don't know what you're missing. Just listen to anything uh just listen to when a man loves a woman and anything uh by neil uh by neil young uh from the early 80s to um to like the early 90s to 2000s and you'll hear him he is tremendous and um he is one of my idols. And uh, on to Bobby Nelson. Bobby Nelson is Willie, or was Willie Nelson's sister. Uh, but she has since passed away and she was still performing and she was 91 when she died. She, uh, she was still performing with Willie up to her death. Actually, her last recorded appearance, I believe, was on um, Willie's Willie and Family record, where he was singing with um, his daughter, his daughter, uh, his daughters and sons, and I think um, Bobby was that was uh, Bobby's last appearance. But um, basically. Bobby Nelson uh, 
basically raised Willie um, musically. I mean, she taught him music. And um, the first time that I heard uh, Bobby, Bobby play was, this was really the first time that I had kind of fallen in love with Willie's stuff. Uh, was on an HBO uh, special that they did, that Willie did, around 1983 when Tougher, Tougher Than Leather came out. And I saw her play um, Beer Barrel Polka on the piano and I just fell in, lo fell in love with her piano playing and her her playing is so integral to Will, to Willie's sound that when she died a couple a couple months or um, when she died late last year and the first performance that I the first Willie performance that I saw without her it was kind of hard to to watch I mean he was still good but it was kind of hard to watch and know that she's not there because the um, I mean um, her, the sound uh, drastically changed without her there and like I said uh, she was so integral to to his sound, it's kind of, she's kind of irreplaceable. And, um, it, she almost reminds me of, her playing almost harkens back to, um, p old, old timey piano players in, old-timey saloons that's that's uh, what it kind of reminds me of and especially when she does stuff like beer barrel poker and down yonder um which um to me are her two standout show pieces and um and you know and uh, I've seen Willie five times, five or more times, and I had the extreme pleasure to see Bobby play all of those times uh, because she ha had been she has she had been in the band up to the time she passed away, so that was. Uh, so that was for years and years and years. She was always a constant in in Willie's band. So when she passed, I kind of took it a little hard. And um, I just I just love her playing. And I would um, recommend, as far as recommendations go, I would recommend that you uh, check out uh, check out as far as Willie Nelson's records go I recommend that you check out uh, Tougher Than Leather and Redhead Stranger because uh, those two records really show off Bobby Bobby's playing and as far as the live records go um, check out Willie, Willie and the Family Live, which is uh, a record that we are going to do, do, do a review of at some point. And that also really shows shows off Bobby's playing, especially the Red-Headed Stranger medley at the end of uh, Side One. Um, there's an instrumental section in that medley that that almost brings uh, ch 
sends chills down my spine every time I jam to it uh, because it's so good and um, and check out any live version of Willie's version of Will the Circle Be Unbroken and you will hear um, a masterful performance from Bobby and uh, so I hope you enjoyed this long uh, meandering tribute to two of two of the greatest keyboard players that ever played the instrument and um, thank you for listening